Good morning, folks. The sunspots are on the rise. We have had a slight uptick in solar activity, although the most interesting of that is not solar flaring, but a filament eruption. More to come. But first, we look at the latest update to the solar polar fields. Website members, you heard the good news on Fly on the Wall this past weekend. But more imminently relevant is that the northern fields are still not positive. That's what they will need to be this coming cycle, and as of this July 11th update, the solar pole flip is not done yet. I really wish they gave us this in real time. Top quakes of the day. Three of the top four are visible here with the six-pointer that struck Mexico and two rumbles in the Atlantic Ocean, both on the ridge. Skipping over to the West Pacific, a tropical storm can be seen forming just east of the Philippines and on a beeline for Shanghai. The smaller, tighter low behind that is stronger more organized and still expected to swing due north of Japan in the coming days. The eastern Pacific has calmed slightly with Genevieve even taking her last breaths. And meanwhile, the storm formation likelihood in the Atlantic remains high. Haven't seen much out there this year. Also notice the sister earth spots above where one of those Atlantic tremors occurred. Going to be a calmer day down under. We still have southern convergence that tosses a cloud line over the populace here and there. In Europe, the primary storm zones are at the low to the south. Meanwhile, the northern low is continuing the heat in that area. The leading eastern edge of these is always warmer, and the trailing western side is cooler. No severe threats in the west today. Just those same flash flood warnings for those in this area. That low drawing in. Check your forecasts. Delaware. What's this? You just not going to do it anymore? Muons are all we need, he asked disingenuously, knowing the answer. Oh well, solar wind telemetry shows calmer near Earth space, and the solar flaring continued its slow rise to a peak of C4, but no more. Sunspot numbers should be peaking again here, at least for this go-round. The departing spots really grew to the south, but never really got magnetically mixed. Meanwhile, the incoming spots are looking like they're doing just a mediocre job of the same. This group is trying to interact, but the penumbral zones are a bit far apart, and they'll need to get a little closer. Now that this trailing region is more in focus, we see two or three areas where we could have mixing, or perhaps that's just surface plaguing. Either way, it would be tough to definitively call a delta at this time. Looking at the coronal fields and coronal hole, pop goes the weasel. The wide northern opening is actually just scattered open fields up top, the real McCoy is just behind them, slightly south, trans-equatorial and entering the earth-facing fourth of the sun. Quakes on the rise. We showed the primary eruptive activity already, a filament eruption that appears to have released mostly north and away from earth. We actually had a previous filament destabilization hours before, but it appears a good deal of that slid back into the star and was smaller to begin with. Afterwards, as we often see, the chain reaction destabilization occurred and indeed they tend to pop off in groups. We have still got some more filaments on the earth facing disk and with the sunspots rising in the corona hole about earth facing, I'd say it's time for some more space weather. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.